Okay, I thought I could sit down and talk about my uni experience because I've seen a lot of videos going around at the minute like this and because I went to uni I thought I could talk about it and I can ask um, my friends if they have any input um, who went to uni as well. Um, so yeah, if you want to know about my uni experience and advice, I'm going to leave standpoints down below of timing so you can know what I'm talking about when if there's only one part you are interested in um so yeah please keep on watching okay so I thought I'd do an introduction about oh, my cat is literally trying to get in the way what do you want so I thought I'd just do an introduction about how I actually found university um it's a hard one because they were probably the best years of my life but also the worst if that even makes sense and I feel like a lot of people can vouch for that <laughs> what? I feel like a lot of people will feel the same I think my cat wants to be in the shot um so that's really good <laughs> She keeps sniffing my phone. Um, but yeah, all in all, amazing. I had the best time. I think I went to an amazing university. Um, and I've made friends that I'll probably be friends with for the rest of my life. <laughs> Sorry, my cat. Um, but yeah, I think it was really nice. I went to Edge Hill University, if anyone's interested. But this is going to be more of a general uni experience. But if you want anything more in depth please let me know like if you just want to if anyone is going there or i don't know I'm, i'll probably do more videos like this if people like this video um so yeah um i guess a main part of going away is literally the moving out process and i I only struggled really being away from home sometimes, like sometimes you just get sick of being at She got really close to me then, like she was going to attack me so that's not good is it? Um, but yeah I think moving out for me wasn't a massive deal. What? Like I enjoyed it, I really didn't want to be away from my cat though, like honestly that was like the worst. She wants to sit on my lap. As you can see, she's clingy as well. Um, but I mean, do you not think it's so weird that you just get put into these halls and you don't know any people? You literally hardly know anything about them. But Ed Chill had so many groups um, where you could literally meet. Like, I met who I was living with beforehand, and luckily. Mm, I didn't live with amazing people in first year, but some of them were, but half of them <laughs> were not. Um, I'll get into that another time. But, um, yeah, moving out, when you, it feels a lot better, like, look for groups. Oh, don't knock my camera. Look for groups on Facebook, and hopefully there will be a few, because... That was the best thing, like knowing who you're gonna live with beforehand. Knowing who you're gonna live with. <laughs> this video's gonna be a mess, like all my videos. Knowing who you're gonna live with beforehand made it so much easier. Look out for groups. Um, they, I found it so much easier as well because they had certain groups for like where you lived, like um, different courts and stuff. I mean, at Ed Chill it was like a lot of different they were like courts like woodland court palatine court forest court i don't know about where um you guys are going but yeah it was pretty much they had a lot um of groups you could find out who you were living with beforehand who lived even like next door to you, you just like could just write your room number in and everyone um could comment and you could see so i'd highly recommend doing that because um it was nice to speak even just to a couple of people i didn't know every single person but just a couple of people knowing um who they were going to be it was so much easier so we're talking about first year now it feels like a lifetime ago um 
but yeah that's what i'd say mostly about moving out um just i don't want to ramble too much i feel like if you want me to go into depth i really can on another video um but i want to make this one quite general but yeah i'd definitely say that and then you need I feel like freshers week as well even if you know people that went to the same uni if your friends went to the same uni i'd say definitely make time to be with your flat and fo oh my god my god focus on your flatmates because um they're literally going to be with you for the whole year and maybe not every maybe not everyone like maybe you really don't get on with flatmates or you've been put into a bad flat which i'm really sorry but yeah literally make time for your flat um especially on the first night i feel like that was really fun going out and meeting new people and having the experience and then i feel like as well spending that first freshers week and hopefully they have events like i mean it's so different this time round but if you're a fresher just know that literally like they'll have freshers week every year and every year it's just as good with all the events and all your friends do you really have to be in the center basically make time for your flat and in your building hopefully they'll have building chats where you can be friends with everyone in the building i know i didn't make friends with everyone in our building it was mainly just the floor um but once you've got to know your flatmates and they're at uni um all of their like friends kind of become your friends like my friend eloise <laughs> who um i'm so close to this day like was like the first person I met she literally lived next door to me and then her friends that we met who lived in like a completely different area of Edgehill sort of became our friends for the whole year and we literally did things all the time and that's how, that's just how it works like friends are friends friends you just sort of meet everyone I mean this is my experience I don't want to be like yeah yeah it's the same for everyone when people probably aren't similar to me I'd say I'm quite a going out person personality wise love to go out well more so at university love to go out love to get drunk um anything like that probably more over education i'm not a bookworm even though i did literature <laughs> i'm not someone that has ever really been like the cleverest in the class i'm sort of like a a middle like a middle person like c's b's is me um not anything I didn't really go there to get a first, basically. I sort of, I feel like the experience is, was more appealing to me, um, which I feel like it is for a lot of people, but then also for a lot of people are going there to be the best person they can be, which is completely fine. I feel like um, I really wanted a degree, don't get me wrong. Oh my God. I really wanted to have a degree um, because I don't know I, I, there was not any apprenticeships around that I really would enjoy and yeah that's it really like I wanted to go there and do something I was interested in but at the same time I also loved like my English teacher in high school she always used to tell me because that was like my favorite subject he was always like yeah literally uni was like the best three years of my life like I'd recommend it and you know when other people say it it's sort of like that's what you want to do I can't believe my cat is literally sat on my knee right now. <laughs> She's being clingy. Um, but maybe I should talk about um, my A-levels just for a second. Um, I'll do like a two minutes on that. <laughs> my A-levels, um, I did psychology at AS and then dropped it because I got a D. <laughs> and then I did English language, um, media studies and photography. Um, I was gonna drop photography and stick with psychology but then things just work out that you honestly i found psychology so difficult but it was like one of the most interesting things that i'd ever done um okay she's gone but yeah i um i applied for like five unis for ucas i think that's what it was um i don't know if it's changed but i applied to do english and 
media studies at Edgehill University and then I got an email back um, about that course. That was the one course that I was like, that is what I want to do. And then I got an email like, oh, this course isn't being done anymore. So I was like, fuck's sake. <laughs> but then um, I went to do English with film studies and because they had two types of film studies. One was more film production and one was more writing. I prefer writing, I love like essays and stuff like that. Rather than like creating a film that wasn't really me, it was more talking about like the media side of it, which I really enjoyed. But if you wanna know more about Ed Chill, the course, things like that, I will do a separate video, but I'd rather just talk about a general in this one um, because otherwise it'd be extremely long. Okay, so let's talk about being social and going out. So, I didn't join a society, which I sort of regret, because like my friends at other universities as well that join societies, like you have, you dress up every week and go to social, which is like where your student union bar is or club, and get drunk and you have like different things to do, and it just it would have been good, but like I am not a sporty person, I'm not good at things, but I'd highly recommend joining. A society i'm not saying you have to do a sports one i think they have like business arts like everything um i mean they could have had an english one but i have no idea i just i like to do my own thing like to be honest um but yeah i'd highly recommend that um i'm not gonna lie going i have never had a very unsocial friend group at uni so it might be different for other people but like even in my third year, I was probably going out at least three times a week. And um, I don't know if I could condone that, but best memories, best time. Um, like, I think going out, even at least once a week with your flatmate just helps. Like it helps relieve the stress. And I'm not being funny, if you miss a few 9 a.m.s, like, does it really matter? <laughs> someone's, someone's gonna be watching this and be like, yeah, it kind of does. But like, I'm not saying do that, but, I mean, enjoy time with your flat, like, you're not gonna have that time back and, but also it's the same to focus on your studies as well because you're not gonna have that time back, like, it literally is a balance. I think you need a healthy balance. I think you should be going out and making friends because a lot of the time you're going out with the same people and sometimes, I feel like not every time, like, in my third year I was with a lot of people and a lot of the time I just went out with the same like four girls but then sometimes everyone else would join like they weren't they didn't want to go out all the time do you know what I mean like clubbing wasn't their thing and bars were so every Monday we like went to a bar all together but then like on a Thursday we'd go out and go to a club um just sort of like balance it out making sure that no one was left out and to be honest it's not even that like I wanted to spend time with them like I loved my flat um I don't really think there was a lot of people I disliked um at all to be honest i don't stay in contact with everyone though but i like to try i mean the main my main friends now i speak to every day still and i finished uni last year um but i'm doing this video now because i've just finished my master's degree as well which i can talk about in another video but this is more like undergrad um yeah so i'd highly recommend trying to balance out what you're doing with your flat like if if a lot of people in your flat don't want to go out like every week that is literally completely fine like a lot of people are busy or have no money or stuff like that we made a lot a lot of the time we did drinks in the flat we all like literally just got the cheapest booze we could i'd be down to aldi and buying like the cheap malibu <laughs> when I had no money but that's what you do like there's so much you can do you don't just have to go clubbing all the time um I mean if you're going clubbing for like different reasons and not just with your friends then fair enough but um yeah I'd say hi I'd highly recommend just drinking in your flat getting to know your flat um obviously your course mates as well like I was more friends with my flat but I lived with people that were on my course um so I mean that is a really good thing to do that I'd highly recommend like if I didn't want didn't want to go to uni like my friend Jess who I literally mentioned like so many videos would literally like be like no we're going in tomorrow like if I was out she'd be like no we're going in tomorrow you didn't go in last week like we're doing this like we are getting you a good degree like you need people like that motivating you as well um but 
I regret going out as much men mentally um, because alcohol gives you the worst effects to the point where like my attendance was getting really bad I was getting emails from uni and but you're just going out and getting drunk all the time like sometimes it'd be like five times a week and I'd be like yeah but I'm at uni and then you realize it when you haven't gone into lectures for so long because you're just hung over and you feel horrible and then obviously alcohol is like a depressant and you just don't feel the best which is why they were the hardest years um feeling quite low and down I won't lie um, so I feel like you have to take extra care of yourself at university and it may not seem like it at the time you might like at the time I'd just be like sat downstairs and like I'd find it funny but I'm not going in today I'm sitting downstairs and we'll watch films together because obviously you're on different timetables to a lot of people um, so yeah I'd highly recommend looking after yourself and if you're feeling down then you need you need to go in like you need to be motivated i know that's not for everyone but the people that are like me it was really difficult to balance both um because mentally i didn't want to do it i didn't want to do all the work and stuff like that and it, it took a while especially in third year because you're like this is the last year at uni i want to i might me and my friends wanted to go out all the time um but I, I regret doing it as much um just because i feel like i didn't look after myself in the end um so that is a main thing. Like, because at the time, you're like, well, we're going out all the time. We're having the best time ever. Just look after yourself at the same time. Yeah, um, that's a really big thing, I'd say. I saw, I watched a few videos of this to sort, to sort of get the gist of what to speak about. And a few people spoke about relationships at uni. So I thought I could briefly mention that because I don't really have much experience. But... Um, I was with someone, sort of, um, at the end of first year, sorry, I don't know why it's really hard to like, because I've not scripted this and I'm literally just going off things in my head, I feel like I'm pausing a lot, um, but I'll try and edit it down as much as I can, but basically, um, I was sort of with someone at the start of first year and it didn't work out and it was not good <laughs> I think it was like it was toxic but like at the time you don't realize that and that put a downer on me like I wouldn't go to lectures I wouldn't go out um I was crying every time I got drunk and my flat like oh god forbid had to look after me a few times so I'd definitely say don't go don't start university with someone that doesn't that isn't <laughs> that it's not a good relationship basically definitely don't do that um if you're not working out and you're arguing or it's a toxic setting it will just make your experience so much worse like it the first few months of it for me were difficult like i was going home all the time i was so upset and that is actually the reason why i commuted in second year because basically um to move at Edge Hill, you, you sort of got a place around December to move out and I looked at a few houses with um, Eloise and a few other people um, that I mentioned before and we, I had to come to the conclusion that I was going home all the time because I was just really upset about the whole situation. I didn't really want to be at uni for the first few months because obviously breakups are hard, um, even at like 18. Oh, I went to uni just after college, by the way, so I was 18. I didn't have a gap year or anything like that, in case anyone's wondering. Um, but yeah, that made me commute in second year, which I didn't get to live in town, which upsets me a bit. I didn't get to live with some amazing people, but I got to stay. Like, Eloise lived with some amazing, like, guys that we were friends with and we went out with and, like, I'm friends with them to this day. Um and commuting gave me like a lot more money um so i literally went to like lancaster once a week to see my friends like my best friend went to lancaster university um and i met all her friends and i used to go out there like once a week and because i had the money and i was at home and i live closer to lancaster than i do to edgehill so it wasn't even a big deal so if i wasn't in or if i was <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't condone that, um, don't listen to me. But like I'd go there and then have a few friends that went to Manchester University so I could literally go there and it wouldn't even be an issue. I wasn't paying for a house and my pet, my car did not take that much petrol to be honest. Um, and I had friends in Ormskirk, so I literally could go out everywhere and I had a lot of money um, But it would have been nice to have one year out of out of the centre so I could kind of talk about it as well But I can't um, But if you want more tips on that, I'm going to do a video with my friends about this who went to the same uni as me and They've all agreed to do it, but with Covid Where I live you can't see anyone <laughs> basically and they don't live here um they live um in all different parts um so um i have friends that were with people though at uni and for years and they made it work they made sure that on their days off that they'd drive and see each other on weekends they'd be at home or sort of take it in turns like one day you go there and then the next day come up just to save money for each person but I can't really speak too much about that but I know a lot of them lasted and they're still together now and it's fine but then a lot of um, some people it didn't last with because it's I think some people found it difficult having someone that was had a proper job when they wanted to go out and have fun and do other things and you're quite different so it, I feel like it can work or it can't like it literally just depends on the people um, but yeah I wanted to quickly talk about that because I saw some other people speak about that and it's nice to talk about experiences so not that I really experienced it however it's so weird like I don't know if any of you have ever been told this but everyone was like you're gonna meet your husband at university like this is where you meet people like I was like no like I mean don't get me wrong I met people at uni but like nothing like that um, and then in my third year, I went to a, like a party at my own flat, um, and I met this guy and we started talking and realised we both like lived in the same area at home and then now it's actually been my boyfriend for like over a year, so it's really weird and that was like in third year, like the last few months of it. Um, what are you doing? So, literally when people say that I didn't believe it, but it's weird like I know a lot of people that have met people at uni as well and um yeah sometimes it works out <laughs> which is nice um it's just weird that people used to say that and I literally didn't believe it until my last year at uni when obviously and I'm now with someone that I met which is it's so bizarre because for all my time there I was like I'm never meeting anyone don't like anyone here but yeah interesting <laughs> So basically I started a uni relationship, ended uni in a relationship, but in the middle I was single and I don't know, I feel like you need to have a single time, I was about to say phase then, but that just sounds a bit wrong, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I, d I don't know, I really enjoyed it being single, I had amazing funny memories and um, yeah, but I think it's nice to also have someone that you've been with for the whole time you were there and... It's literally up to you if you want like a little single phase, do whatever you want, uni's the best place for that. Um, because a lot of people are the same, but then having someone that you love and care is also really nice, um, yeah. Let's talk about necessary things to take. Um, I was literally just asking people like what they want to know. Um, like my friends and an advice was like, what you need to bring is, I'd definitely say your own pots and pans. At Edge you're given some, but sharing them is just, it's not the one. And you end up all sharing stuff anyway. So just know that you're probably going to lose cutlery really fast. You'll lose a chopping board. You'll lose everything. Um, it just gets lost. Um, I don't even know how. It, I don't know if people steal them, but I've ne I never saw anyone use my things, but I'd say bring more than two plates and two bowls. They go missing, they get smashed, especially like, they just do like people, I'm pretty sure one of my flatmates accidentally smashed my plate by accident, but then got me this cheap plastic one, which is it's nice, but um, it, it just happens. Like bring more of everything. You don't need to spend too much either. And you all do sort of share. I know there's a lot of people that don't like sharing but I literally didn't mind 
everyone was sort of like, someone had a cheese get grater that was like better than mine, so I was like, can I use that? Or like mixing bowls, like, if I randomly had the urge to make a cake and have a mixing bowl, I'd be like, can I use yours? Like, it just happens like that, and just know that it, a lot of it will probably get lost, and you will bring so, you'll buy so many things you don't even need, like, you need, I'd say move in with basics, and then as you go on, if you find yourself needing something, get it there and then rather than splurging and going mad thinking you're going to need all these things when in reality, you probably don't. Now I want to talk about tips. The lighting's going to go horrible because I've filmed this quite late in the day, I'm really sorry. But I want to talk about tips and this will probably be the biggest section. And I mean, if this video is really long, I want it, I want it to be helpful. Um, so the first tip, I've got hair on my mouth first tip is do not leave everything to last minute and I'm looking at you because I did this in my undergrad I did this all the time but postgrad I literally had things like a week two weeks before and I got a better grade and I was so much better mentally and it was just so clear I had like a plan for everything it was amazing but I definitely say don't leave it to last minute and I know it's a really annoying thing but just don't like if you really want to go out that night, but it's just going to be the same night as it always is. Like, think about it. Just do sit home and do your work, okay? Listen. Listen to Auntie Lorraine. Just do it. So that's really a big, a big one, to be honest. I could have done my bed, couldn't I? Never do. But that's literally a really big one for me. And I think it should be for all of you. You need, you need to sort your work out first and then go out. You've got all week. It's probably something to do every day where you are unless you're at a uni that's really boring but I don't know if there are any tip number two budget like really budget your money like have I don't want to this is just a a number you don't have to follow it don't hate me if it's too much or too little but like say you have a lot of money or I don't even my loan wasn't the best um it was I got a really low loan in third year and had to cover the accommodation out of like my family's own money um, and stuff like that um, but in the other years I had enough to live um, but say you have like £50 a week, budget that, be like right I'm going to spend this much on food for the week and I mean Aldi's your best friend like you don't need expensive food and have noodles all the time like I mean you can look after yourself as well like at least buy some apples <laughs> have a bit of fruit go on um but don't like waste your money on unnecessary things and then make sure you have enough money to go out and have fun at the same time though um that is another big tip definitely budget your money because you don't want to run out you don't want to be like calling up your mum i need some money or or um, you don't want to be borrowing it you, you know what i mean you don't want to not be able to go out as well like you want you need to stay ha have a stable balance between going out and um doing stuff <laughs> doing uni stuff <laughs> but definitely budget i'd say and then let's think like you want to have enough money so that you don't run out of money later in the year when you are finished with like your dissertation or if you're in freshers week um, no if you're in first year sorry you don't you want to have enough money to enjoy the last part of the semester where you don't really have anything to do and that's where a lot of people go out all the time um because obviously at the start i feel like you go out a lot in the middle um you're more getting on with work or you're just going out all the time <laughs> Um, but you know what I mean, you're getting on more with work and then at the end it's like the last final push and then you can go out all the time and have a really good time. So yeah, that's a really big one for me. This is another one and I don't know if everyone is going to agree with this but you don't need to buy all the books they say. You don't. Some of them are really important, like there were some books I needed for exams but I did english um with film study so i did english language and literature and film so i mean i'm not gonna lie you can find a lot of it online like the abstract i know it's really bad to say but i was just talking to my friends and they agree like you don't need to do all the reading like for seminars and stuff like you can get a general gist of it like don't 
overwhelm yourself by buying all these books because there's so many books that are probably like they ask you to use once and they're expensive and you don't need it or you can find someone you could share with and go halves and stuff like that or they buy one book you buy the other and you can share like don't waste all your money on all the books and i know a lot of people are going to think that that's a really bad thing and a lot of people be like buy all the books they're really helpful but in my opinion and also friends because i've asked them to help with tips um, that was a big one that was like, you know, it's it's not needed, okay, um, yeah. A big one when I've asked people, um, which kind of leads on, is don't drown in your work. Don't drown in your work and don't sit in your room, make time to go out and see people, like, even if at the time you're anxious or you don't really want to socialise and you're not feeling it tonight, if you do it, it will make sure that you literally have friends for life, like, I know that's not the experience for everyone. A lot of people don't get on with everyone at uni and I'm really sorry. Um, hopefully if you want more tips on friendships then something like that. But yeah, like you need to go out, okay? Like even if you don't want to, sometimes just go out and make time with your family. Um, family. It's basically family really. But basically make time for your friends. Go out, um, don't sit in all the time. Make sure you eat your food like in the kitchen don't go in your room and like shy away i know that's really difficult for some people but that's a really big tip like join a society like i said make that is these ways to make friends like you will meet so many new people and that is what uni is about you want to meet everyone you want to have friends you want to have fun you don't want to sit in your room and be lonely because lo i'm not being funny like uni can be a really lonely time you, you have your own room like a lot of accommodations you have your own ensuite you're not like going out of your room you're just staying in it and like you go in the kitchen and you'll go in the kitchen when it's dead and no you need to like plan movie nights in your flat and i mean i'm pretty sure not every flat has a tv like my flat was lucky enough also while i'm speaking i might have pictures popping up somewhere um but joining society um they dress up and they have loads of fun um yeah just don't sit in your room and be on your own because it's just better to have people there with you and um that's a, a tip that a lot of people have said um and a lot of people that i spoke to still are in contact with all these people today um which is amazing because you want you want to stay close with these people that you spent like literally three years with or even just a year of uni like i met most of my friends in the last year of uni and I literally still speak to them two years later so yeah um this is like a tip for making relationships work um I've spoke to people that were in one and they just said that distance won't matter if it's meant to work which I think is a really important thing like don't worry about it too much um always communicate don't like go out all night and then never like don't be out all night and go on your phone and only speak to your boyfriend or girlfriend and then don't go out and ignore them and not tell them where you are because they might they might be a bit stressed with you going away and being with new people especially if they didn't go to uni or vice versa um but facetime will probably be your best friend and i mean after having a lot of couples have like what three months apart within lockdown um like you just have to facetime you have to try um to make effort to see each other even if it's like every two weeks like once a month like every weekend you can make it work if you really want to and yeah um definitely facetime and really stay communicated the whole time um which will really help um i don't i hope people aren't worried um about stuff like that because everything just falls into place I just want to add that it is completely normal for couples to break up at uni after speaking to a lot of my friends and they know people and like at their unis and stuff like sometimes it can just make people be distant or people can realize that they do want to be single and they don't want the extra stress um and stuff like that like it's completely normal and if, if it happens to you that you will get through it and and it, it will literally be fine and if people are meant to be you can come back together or you'll meet other people and you'll have an amazing time at uni so i wouldn't stress about that and just focus on getting your degree and not focus on anything else going around you um but it is important 
to if that happens just don't go in your room like try to come out like I just said like even if you don't want to just try and make the effort to be around everyone so they can help you and they will 100% want to help you and be there for you unless they're horrible people which I'm praying they're not um but yeah it's normal and which is sad but it, it is and, and I mean it's completely normal as well for people to be together the whole time and it flies by and there might be some hard times with distance but um yeah it's literally both it can work or it can't lastly um a little food tip i literally was just asking people like Ooh, tips and she said that um one of her tips was that she kept like her food like she if she went home and her mum had made loads of meals like she could just freeze them and then heat them up and it's like really quick easy meals like if you make some pasta sauce one day and make like bulk it and then you literally have it for like the next few weeks or even months and like you can make a lot in bulk and have it out throughout the year and it saves money it saves time like a lot of the time you want to go to the library or you want to go out and you need to line your stomach so i definitely suggest that like get food that won't go off as well like don't be buying loads of fresh food and forgetting about it because Unless you're sharing with other people, I feel like it is quite difficult to eat all the food you have and like milk and stuff like share it. There's a cat in a tree and I keep watching it. <laughs> oh my god, I need to actually like focus now. <laughs> but yeah, definitely do that. Um, okay, one last tip I've just remembered. Um, I was actually asking my friends like what tips would they do and this one's really important clean like don't be that person that sits there and doesn't clean the dishes and is dirty because you'll annoy everyone i've been that one yeah i've been that dirty bitch and i've been the one that hates it i've literally been both so clean up after yourself don't let it waste because you'll be so like stressed that someone will just snap at each other little things like that and having a clean environment gives a clean mind so literally make sure that you are clean <laughs> because whew, um some people really don't like that and i don't like it but i also have been the messy one like i've been both and it's not nice on either side what i was saying before um about seminars and the reading like don't stress yourself out you will not fail if you don't read all 12 articles on that um work and a lot of my other friends have spoke about this as well like you're not gonna like don't lose sleep like get enough sleep go out and see your friends like if you don't read all 10 articles it's literally fine and don't um don't beat yourself up about it like don't overwhelm yourself at all make sure you take the time out to do things for you have fun remember that that is part of it as well and i mean you don't have to if you don't want to um go out and stuff i'm not saying everyone has to do that to have fun um but I know a lot of people going to uni will want that. Um, but yeah, definitely do not overwhelm yourself with too much work because it'll make you be stressed. You know the memes that are like, you know, when you're just dead stressed and like anxious or something, you just sit in bed and just don't do any of it. That, that is literally what I do if I overwhelm myself. I just sit in bed and be like, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's really good actually to have. <laughs> I know that last bit, but yeah. I don't know why I have glasses on my head now, but thank you for watching this uni advice and tips. If you want any more, any more detail, I can do one specifically to the unis I went to. Um, anything like that, then please let me know. Or if you want to know about my master's degree, I have a lot of knowledge and stories and yeah. Um, Overall, I really enjoyed my time at university. I made amazing friends and even though my mental health did take a bit of a turn, it was still amazing and you just have to remember to look after yourself. But yeah, I hope somebody enjoyed this video and if you didn't, it's awkward. But yeah, thank you for watching. Bye. Don't look at that. If I missed anything out that you want to know about, please comment down below and I'll have a video up for you ASAP. I have nothing to do right now and um i really really want to help people out so please let me know um just comment down below i'll probably have it out like asap if that's what people want more videos so yeah